When you hit a forehand, you're going to be standing in a particular way. And how you position your feet when you hit a forehand is called a stance. Now there are three types of stances you can use when you hit a forehand. The open stance, the neutral stance, and the closed stance. And all these stances are defined by how your feet are positioned relative to either the baseline or the net. But before we, we talk about how you find these stances, we need to first understand the terminology involved. So we're going to focus on the feet. And we're going to use Andy Roddick as our guinea pig. Now Andy is right-handed. So that means when he hits a forehand, his right leg is going to be considered his outside leg, and his left leg is going to be considered his inside leg. Now if we turn Andy into a lefty, now it's the opposite. His left leg is his outside leg, and his right leg is his inside leg. So if you're right-handed, then your outside leg is your right leg, and if you're left-handed, your outside leg is your left leg. So with that in mind, let's first go to the open stance. And here we have a shot of Andy Roddick in the open stance. And the way you find this stance is you draw a line between the outside leg and the inside leg. And this line is pretty much parallel with the baseline. So if you position your feet so that they are parallel with the baseline, then you're in the open stance. Again, that's what this is. Now let's jump to the neutral stance. This is a shot of Gael Monfi in the neutral stance. And if we draw a line between his outside leg and his inside leg, this line is perpendicular with the baseline or the net. It forms a 90 degree angle. So that's how you find the neutral stance. The last stance I want to talk about is the closed stance. And I want to sort of separate it from the open stance and the neutral stance because you rarely want to use this stance. But before we get into that, what exactly is the closed stance? Well, the closed stance, which you can see here, this is Hyung Taik Lee, is where the inside leg steps across the outside leg. So since uh, Hyung Taik Lee is right-handed, his left foot is his inside foot, and he stepped across his right foot, his outside foot, with it. And again, this is the closed stance. Now, why don't you want to use a closed stance when you hit a forehand? Well, it inhibits your upper body rotation, which is so critical to a modern forehand. So you will rarely, rarely, rarely see pro players hit with a closed stance if they can avoid it. You'll typically see a closed stance on serve returns because getting to the tennis ball takes priority over how your feet are positioned. But otherwise, you're going to see the open stance or the neutral stance. So again, don't use this stance if you can avoid it because it makes it more difficult to use the correct forehand mechanics when you hit. The final point I want to make is that you're rarely going to be in a pure open stance or pure neutral stance. In other words, rarely are your feet going to be positioned so that if you put a line through them, that line is going to be either perfectly parallel with the baseline or perfectly perpendicular. So for example, the stance we have Andy in right here, his, if you put a line through his feet, that line is on a diagonal to the baseline of the net. But I would consider this stance an open stance. So again, there's a gray area, there's sort of a judgment call you need to make. Now, with that said, there is no gray area when it comes to the closed stance. As soon as your inside foot steps across your outside foot, you're in a closed stance. And the thing you want to take away from this video is that next time you go to the court, pay attention to how you position your feet. And if you're hitting with a closed stance, when you could be hitting with either an open or a neutral stance, you need to make that change. Again, really work on hitting with either an open or a neutral. Those are the two stances you want to be in when you hit a forehand.